Hello, I'm Steph. So in this short series, I am talking about whether or not to handle a Robrowski, alternatives to handling Robrowskis and types of interaction in taming, as well as how to build your own confidence around handling a Robrowski hamster. In this video, I'm going to talk about what to do when you have a touch me not Robrowski hamster or you don't want to handle your Robrowski. So I'm going to show you a few alternative ways to interact with and move your Robrowski hamster, do health checks, etc. if you don't want to touch them or they don't like being touched. To interact with your Robrowski without picking it up or letting it climb into your hand, you can hand your Robrowski food as I talked about in the last video. This is a really nice way to see your Robrowski, talk to them, check them, treat them. If you hold the food slightly higher, for example, they will stand up to reach it and you can check underneath them. If you can get to a point where they will run up to your hand to take food, this is a nice form of interaction and you don't have to take it from here to the next level if you don't want to or they don't want to. Um, you can also lift your Roborowski out of the enclosure and I'll talk about how to do this in a minute and move them into a pen or somewhere for safe, free roaming. I have found that with all robos that I've had over the years, most will climb into a tunnel or glass if you put it in front of them. This makes it very easy to pick them up and to check them over. Put a tall glass next to your Robrowski, wait for them to go into it and gently lift it up. You can put your hand over the top if you're nervous that they might climb out or like with this keep cup that I've used for demonstration, it has a soft lid with a hole in it. So I'm using that because it has an air hole in it whilst demonstrating this but never put a lid on that doesn't have air holes the natural thing for your Robrowski to do in a glass will be to stretch up to see how they can get out and this is where you can check them underneath you can check to see if they are male or female and you can also have a close look at your Robrowski all over to check that they are okay to weigh your Robrowski, you can then put the glass onto a scales, which you have either preset to account for the weight of the glass, or you can just weigh the whole thing and then subtract the weight of the glass afterwards. You can do something very similar with a tunnel as a way to transfer your Robrowski to a carrier for the vets or another enclosure. Just keep it close to the ground and block the other end if you need. If you're nervous because you don't want to put your hand on the other end, then just use something that has a closed end. If you have the carrier in the enclosure and you're quick enough it should be fine though to just let them walk into the tunnel and move it across. You don't want them dropping out of it though so just be aware of that. Sometimes they might also just walk into the enclosure by themselves. There are lots of ways that you can move Roroskis without touching them. So that's the end of this mini series. I hope you found it useful to listen to and that you have found the clips useful to watch as examples. If you have any questions or if you have anything to add that I haven't thought of, please do share in the comments below. I hope this can be a community where we can all share our experiences and knowledge of Robrowski hamsters. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications and I will see you in another video.